Lesson objectives. Number one, define the basic terms of probability. And number two, apply the rules of probability. Lesson objective number one. Probability is the measure of the likelihood of a random phenomenon or chance behavior. Probability describes the long-term proportion in which a certain outcome will occur in situations with short-term uncertainty. Probability deals with experiments that yield random short-term results or outcomes, yet reveal long-term predictability. The long-term proportion in which a certain outcome is observed is the probability of that outcome. And probability an experiment is a process that can be repeated in which the results are uncertain. The sample space, which is denoted by a letter S, of the probability experiment is the collection of all possible outcomes. The event is any collection of outcomes from a probability experiment. The event may consist of one outcome or more than one outcome. We will denote events with one outcome, sometimes called simple events, with a lowercase e. In general, events are denoted by using letters such as a capital E. Let's look at flipping a coin. Our sample space would be all the possible outcomes. So if we flip this coin once, we could either have a heads or we could have a tails. So our sample space would be heads and tails. Heads or tails would be an example of a simple event. So we have an event getting heads and an event getting tails. Both those are simple because they can only happen one way. Let's look at another example rolling a pair of dice. So the experiment would be rolling the dice and looking at the numbers on top of the dice. Here's the sample space. We have 36 different outcomes and if we sum those numbers on top of the dice the sum will range between 2 and all the way up to 12. 2 would be an example of a simple event because it can only happen one way. But the event of getting a sum of three would not because it can happen two ways. Or getting a sum of four. The event getting a sum of four can happen three different ways. Okay, let's look at another example. The experiment is taking a standard deck of cards and selecting one card that's our experiment. Now the sample space will be possible 52 cards in a deck. So there's four suits, clubs, diamonds, hearts, and spades. And each suit has 13 cards and 13 times 4 is 52. The sample space is 52 cards. So there's 52 different outcomes. An example of a simple event would be selecting a king of hearts. That can only happen one way because there is only one king of hearts. However, the event selecting a heart is not a simple event because it can happen more than one way. We can select a seven of hearts or a ten of hearts. Let's look at this example. Consider the probability experiment of rolling a die. Determine the sample space. Define the event E a number greater than 4. And is the event E a simple event? Okay, part A. Sample space would be the numbers 1 through 6. There are 6 faces on the die and they are numbered 1 through 6. Part B. Number greater than 4 would be 5 and 6. And as we can see, this is not a simple event because it has more than one outcome. Let's look at this example. Consider the probability experiment of having two children. Determine the sample space. Define the event E, have one boy, and is the event having no boys a simple event? Okay, first the sample space would be the first child could be a boy and then the second child could be a boy. Then we could have the first child being a boy and then a girl, or we could have a girl then a boy, or we could have both girls. So this is the sample space. 
to have one boy happens two ways boy girl and then the girl boy and then the last one is the event having no boys a simple event and the answer is yes because there is only one outcome and that's where all of them are girls okay let's look at probability notation probabilities can be expressed as a fraction which will always have to be reduced it can be expressed as a decimal or a percent now this is the notation for probability it's a capital P and then we put the event inside the parentheses equal sign and then the probability so the way you read this probability of event A happening is equal to 0.123 unless noted we round probabilities to three decimal places lesson objective number two there are two rules for probability the first rule is for each event the probability of that event must be greater than or equal to zero and less than or equal to one and that is the probability of event E happening is between zero and one it can equal zero and it can equal one the second rule the sum of all the outcomes must equal one so if we look at the probability of all the simple events they will add up to be equal to one a probability model list the possible outcomes of a probability experiment and each outcome's probability. A probability model must satisfy the rules of one and two of the rules of probability. Here's the flow chart for the rules. We have the rule for individual values. They must be between zero and one. It can equal zero and it can equal one. And the sum of all the probabilities has to equal one. Let's look at an M&M &M example. In a bag of peanut M&M &M milk chocolate candies, the colors of the candies are brown, yellow, red, blue, orange, or green. Suppose a, that a candy is randomly selected from a bag. The table shows each color and the probability of drawing that color. Verify that this is a probability model. So our first step, we have to make sure each of these probabilities for each of these outcomes is between 0 and 1 and they are and then we need to see if the sum of all these outcomes equals 1 and they do so if you take 0.12 plus 0.15 plus 0.12 plus 0.23 plus 0.23 plus 0.15 it will equal 1 so this is a probability model if an event is impossible, it has a probability of zero. If an event is certain, the probability is equal to one. And an unusual event is an event that has a low probability of occurring. Now for this class, uh, we're going to define an unusual event as any event that has a probability of less than 5%. So here's a visual. This is the highest. When you have a probability of 1, it, it is certain to happen. And as it gets closer to 0, it becomes less likely to happen. And if you get to 0, probability of 0 means the event is impossible. It cannot happen.